Hey guys, Crew of Blind Wave, I'm Eric. Rick. I'm Calvin. Aaron. And we are here with the Crew Pick movie this week, and it is Blade Runner 2049. Yep. Or 2049, however you want to say it. 2049. 28 years from now. How about 2049? Uh, if you haven't seen, uh, on our channel right now is a reaction to the first Blade Runner, which I think it was the final cut, uh, where One of them. Aaron and I hadn't seen that movie. These two had seen the movie. Yep. So you can see that reaction right now, but we're here for the sequel, which was made much, much later, and all of us have not seen this movie. I, I have. have God seen it. damn it, Calvin. It. What's the point? No. <laughs> so Calvin will be able to guide so us You have through. all the secret... Things that we can talk about later. And secret, stuff. secret. I've seen this once, mm. so you. He's an expert, so you've got all your notes. Sure. <laughs> all right. Uh, Stop well, being taking notes a, just uh, like you. Stop making fun of me. <laughs> this is a uh, a movie reaction over at our Patreon, Patreon.com/slash/BlindWave. People have the ability to watch full length reactions over there uh, on the Raw Rider tier. Raw and this is Rider. no different. This is a two hour or forty four minute long movie. And we can't pack absolutely everything in this highlight, but if there's something yeah. that's not there that you're really interested in seeing a reaction to, you can check out the full length. Um, and I think that's going to be it. We uh -huh. also have <laughs> over at our Patreon early access. You can watch up to four movie reactions going on right now. Mm. What will we pick next? Who knows? What will people over at Patreon pick for us? Who knows? You have to go over there and find out. No one knows. I think in the pinned comment, I usually put it there, too. We don't know. I do. Let's start. The older model replicants, Nexus 8, with open-ended open lifespan, survived. They're hunted down and retired. Those that hunt them still, by, still go by the name. Blade Runner. So they're hunting Nexus 8s that have an open-ended lifespan. Yeah. That they don't obey. California. Knows how to find. What is the teeth? Calvin. Grubs. It's your kin. Oh. Grubs. I remember when I first watched this, everybody, I was doing it in a group watch, and everybody went crazy. I didn't know you were in this movie. Everybody went crazy. <laughs> yeah, they, they, they did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, they still got the fog, so you can't see the forklift. No. It's great. It's Batista. Not Batista. Indeed. I was going to say, I, I not recognize I this that. giant frame. Is this Riddick? <laughs> I haven't seen that either. Why would you make a android so big? Why would you not? <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic shot with the rug silhouetted in this, these two windows. Are you Sapper Morton? Pacific Thumber NK68514. I'm a farmer. If you could just look up and to the left, please. Oh! Knows how to sell it. Not quite as good as Harrison Ford, though. Man could really take a beating. Yeah. Oh! oh! My so small. Because you've never seen a miracle. Jesus, that's a loud thud. I believe it stopped the smell of the roses. Maybe it's just a miracle he saw. I don't know what it would be, though. I guess, like, the book. <laughs> Android's dream of electric sheep. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely feels like the same world. Just shittier. Interlinked. What's it like to hold your child in your arms? Interlinked. Interlinked. What the hell's you going on? That there's a part of you that's test. missing? Interlinked. Test. So they just do a whole bunch of other things to make sure he's saying the things he's supposed to say, yeah. but you're not getting distracted by the things he's not supposed to say? Yeah. It's ridiculous. They're checking for PTSD. That. That's great. Does. <coughs> I guess they don't get barracks, huh? Bunkers. Jeez! Queen! <laughs> <laughs> Probably don't have a lot of water. That was some damn pressure. <laughs> oh, yeah. Relax. <laughs> <laughs> Happy anniversary. Emanator? Hmm. So she's off the track? She's, yeah. This would sell so well in our world. What? Joyce. Joyce. Hmm. Now she's getting wet. It's weird. 
is it simulated water mm -hmm. or is she actually catching the water? I don't know. I can't tell if he's actually touching anything. I know. Oh, oh no. I think she glitched. Mm -hmm. Son of a bitch, you gonna interrupt this with a phone call? The digs come through. We have a new lead. What is it? The box. I know, Calvin. Bones. Ah. She was pregnant. Hmm. So he didn't kill her. She died in childbirth. So where's the kid? Right. A miracle. Is Batista the father? That would be a miracle, I suppose, right? A replicant having a baby. I don't know if that's possible. And it's him. He's the kid? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know that word. 30 years ago or something? Yeah. What was that? He zoomed in real, 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 real. Real close. Yeah, Serial number. It said something, right? Then she was a pregnant replicant? I don't know. Machines making machines. N7, N8, A5, A2, That's not possible. Light Light finds a way. Uh, finds a way. <laughs> you forgot the uh. Yeah, right. Yeah, way too fast. So what you saw didn't happen. Yes, ma'am. Do they think that he's Decker's child? I've never retired something I was born before. What's the difference? Yeah, but why would he be in here? They ran away at the end of the movie, right? They did. To be born is to have a soul, I guess. You've been getting on fine without one. What's that matter? A soul. A soul. Looks like it could be a Batmobile, doesn't it? I was just thinking that. Like a Nolan <laughs> Batmobile. Yeah, kinda. Looks a little bit like highly Ooh. modified Corvette. Go! Yes! Thunder Tumbler. They did it! There's Peugeot, too. Atari. They still they made a resurgence. That's gonna be tough. I mean, the thing I thought was no Hank. <laughs> <laughs> I could tell that's what you were thinking. Yeah. yeah. Sorry about that. I wouldn't trust it. I think it would chop me in half. So you just wouldn't go in? Nope. Not my job. Well, if it doesn't open, it probably doesn't close either. Yeah, either one. It's a sheep, Aaron. Sheep. Oh. It's a pip. Now you understand. <laughs> a doggy. <laughs> <laughs> they get wool from dogs. That could have been a dog. You don't know. Okay, nice office. <laughs> Would you ever want a place like this? Yeah, to this fight on. Sounds like Jared Leto. It is Jared Leto. Oh, his eyes are fucked up. Or better. Creepy. Real creepy. Fuck. What kind of shit does someone that had that kind of office would do? See through those little flying things? Little flying turds? I don't know. <laughs> what are these? Tyrell's final trick. Procreation. Was that model one of the Tyrell ones then? No. That was, one, they that just was one of his. That was one of his failed experiments. Well, what's going on back here? What do you Maybe think? It's some type of shoe mm -hmm. store. You don't like real girls. He likes ones you can reach through. You can reach through real girls. You can reach hard enough. Calvin, <laughs> things like that make me worry about you. <laughs> Maybe there's something hidden in the piano. A hidden door. On the string. There's not a hidden door in the piano. What if it's a key to a door? Then, okay, that kind of works, but goddamn, don't be a key. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Baby glow? Sock? Or booty? It's a baby sock. 6, 10, 21. Is that his birthday? It might be his birthday. Jeez! All trace. Oh. Okay, that's close. Just a little fast. Jesus! I have one about a toy that I had. A wooden horse. All I remember is a group of boys trying to take it away from me. Damn! There's a lot of group of boys. Your memory. The dead car. Six, ten, twenty-one. It's crazy. Six, ten, twenty-one was like fifteen days ago for us. Yeah. <laughs> From when we're watching this, they're identical. A boy and a girl. Hmm. It's impossible. Twins. They were both processed at the Moral Core orphanage. Just the girl died there. But the score is very similar. Yes. 
I mean, it feels like Blade Runner. I think the music, there's like the shots they do that sometimes just established, but they're also kind of cool in the way they do them. Buckle up. Can she buckle up? Would it go? Would it rest on? If they had to stop really. Oh, Get shit! Shot. Flack. Damn, they are. Harpoon cables. The hell of a shot. Hell of a shot. Oh, what? It's a kite. Oh, that's clever. Kite. Oh, look at all the people. Oh! Oh! Oh shit! What the hell? Oh, they're being attacked. Oh. Jeez, this guy just exploded. Fire again. Like... Fire again. Going north. It's Thunderdome. It's a bit more footage. Lots of bald little kids. Like in his dream or memory. His wallet's gonna be gone. And if you're not working, I don't need you. I don't need any of. <gasps> working. Yeah. Huh. Oh no no. I'm no. not buying. No no no. This is just my game, and I play it fair. Yeah, his horse is there. What if he goes and finds the horse all wrapped up still? It's been the entire year. <laughs> I didn't do that. up was a Batista it's different when you go back to a place for the first time from when you were a kid and it seems much smaller yeah it still seems pretty big all the little boys come out start beating them up trying to get it again <laughs> the little boy needs a hug Joe I Joe Joe Mama oh, wait a hug, wait a hug, wait a <laughs> the hell? <laughs> it's crazy. Character creator. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. Think about the memory you want me to see. Not even that hard, just picture it. Someone lived this year. She's not you. Stop breathing. What's it like to hold the hand of someone you love, interlinked? Interlinked. Within cells, interlinked. Within cells, interlinked. You hesitated there. I found the kid. What you asked. It's done. You did good. I do like the flip of like last movie. It's like a human that you might think could be a replicant. And now it's a replicant that you might think could be more human. Than yeah. Human. Do the new replicants age? I don't know. They must, right? Or else he would have been found out. I mean, if he was a replicant as a kid, then yeah. You liked her, I could tell. Oh, she called. You know, put her over top of her and pretend it's. Uh, it's weird the way it goes back and forth between their faces. Yeah. Hurts my brain. <laughs> <laughs> right, there's a guy. It does hurt my eyes. Yeah. But it also is extremely effective. <laughs> Listening device? Tracking device? It's not beeping, so it's probably not tracking device. If anything happens to this, that's it. You're gone. Can you buy another one, make a backup? Put that in the bank. Big deposit box. <laughs> I like me. Or hide it in that piano where the hidden door was. I could burn down. Damn. So I'm, the, I'm the captain guy. It is. There's only one place that dirty. Mm. Detroit. Jesus. 
What is this place? It's like a sex fair. Like a red lights district, maybe? Once upon a time? For giants. Where did they get the pollen? You ever hear the story of the bees that were next to the M&M factory and all their honey was like bright blue? Mm -mm. Do you know it takes a honeybee's entire life to make one drop of honey? Don't honeybees die after they mate too? No, it's not. They die after they sting. Well, yeah, but then they also die after they mate. And it's like, honey, nut, cheerio. Cheerio. <laughs> uh oh. Who doesn't? Yeah, I would have set a trap on a pl pressure plate in front on the other side of that, so when you step over it, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Hell of a place where we've at. It's a doggy. It might be a sheep. It's a weird looking sheep. Whiting is so good. I didn't happen to have a piece of cheese about you now. Where'd you born? Treasure Island. It's a William Falcon, Calvin. <laughs> you ready? <My> gun. <laughs> I just have some questions. What questions? Oh! You shoot first and answer questions later. <laughs> hmm. Yep. Well, shit. You didn't flinch at all. <laughs> <laughs> you had a heck of a time taking on a rep again when you were young. Look, <laughs> I don't want to hurt you, but you're not making it easy. Chris McCord is the master of across the camera punches. <laughs> I like this song. <laughs> Whiskey. There's millions of bottles of whiskey. <laughs> the dog? <laughs> Is it real? I don't know. Ask it's him. Look, what was her name? The mother of your child. Rachel. Who put it in the orphanage? Was it you? Everyone had a part. Mine was to leave. Then the blackout came, paved over everything. Couldn't have found the child if I tried. Sometimes to love someone, you gotta be a stranger. Uh oh. Uh oh. I think these are drone things. These are cars. We're gonna start doing that shit. There's the little star, yep. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> they had mustaches. <laughs> oh, that's a great. <laughs> oh, that might have killed him. Bottle. <sighs> She's gonna step on it, isn't she? I do hope you're satisfied with her product. I love you. He misses them. It's his only friend. Should have been here to eat them. You're an old pupper. Well, I Harrison Ford's an old man. He was fighting. I miss my friend. Yeah, but it does be. Why? So <laughs> stupid. That's how they can find it so easy. That was in the I can't find my tracking device mode. Maybe. I didn't hear it until then. Yeah. <laughs> we're like, where the hell's that tracking device where we put it? Ah, oh, here it is. Do they think we're idiots? We wouldn't know. What the fuck was that? That know. damn hooker. I thought it's familiar. That woman's back? 
yeah, just the whole pink body, blue hair, naked woman. Anime? I don't know. Something seems familiar about it. Like someone told me about it once. That's what, probably what it was. Not that I saw anything. Okay. I think Calvin told me a story one time about that. Okay. I see fans. So then Love was tracking him with the tracker he gave, she gave the hookers. From the police. Yeah. We are our own masters. Mm. More human than humans. Rob Zombie song. If you want to be free, join us. You cannot allow Dickard to lead Wallace to me. You must kill Dickard. What? He's lived this long. Dickard only wanted his baby to be safe. And she is. Mm -hmm. When the it's time when. comes, I will show her to the world. Right. And she will lead our army. They said they were twins? She? No. Of course. Uh, there was a copy. So he's not the kid. He's just a replicant. So he has the kid's memories? No, I mean, he has some memories, yeah. You imagined it was you. There's a bit of every artist in their work. Is it her? That's why she saw the memory? I had the lock. I found the key. Yet the pins do not align. The door remains locked. Secret door. What is it? I need the specimen oh. to reach it, Mr. Deckard. Reach it. Mm -hmm. The moment you met her. These years you looked back on that day, drunk on the memory of its perfection. Ugh. Maybe a recast or a CG face? CG face, but it looks good. Well, if it doesn't look perfect, that can be okay, right? Yeah, right? Like, you can have an uncanny valley here. Her eyes were green. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Wait, billboards did this? We so many accidents? <laughs> it sells so much, though. You look lonely. I'd just be standing around that all day. <laughs> Aaron, get <You> inside! <laughs> Jeez. You look like a good Joe. So that's why... Oh! Hope he knows which one he's in. Or does he not it's like care? Star Wars. And he's trying to kill him. I thought his gunshots were the music. He was like, boom, 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 boom. Yeah. <laughs> and he did it again. I'm like, oh, okay. Oh! Pilot's dead. Two? Yeah. Dying for a cause. They go out with the tide. There's so much wool in your whip. Damn! Jesus. <laughs> Can he not get up? He's chained down. Yeah. I thought he was just handcuffed. No, look between yeah, the handcuffs. A, it goes down. He's got a lap strap and a... I thought that was the look of the chair. Yeah. <laughs> Cut her! Seconds of being under there, and oh, you just get back. You must be dead. Uh, yep. <laughs> 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 you should have let me die out there. You did. You drowned out there. You're free to meet your daughter now. So, what's come? Andrew should come 
bearing gifts? All the best memories are hers. You okay? Just a moment. Beautiful, isn't it? All right, Blade Runner 2049. I thought it was pretty amazing how well they matched like the tone and feel and cinematography of the first movie. Obviously, the first movie has the like charm of it has models and strings and duct tape, you know, like sure, how yeah. it was made. And this has computer graphics, but I thought it was matched pretty well. Sure. Who directed the first one? Uh, Ridley. Ridley Scott. Ridley Scott. Yeah. Okay. And they directed this one too, then, right? Uh, it said produced by. He was a producer. It was a different director. Was, different director. Uh, yeah. I just wonder if it kept like the same vision because sometimes you get like, all right, well here's this. Uh, we're, you know, years from now we're gonna make a sequel. They make a sequel yeah. and it's some other people and whatever and yeah, you know, like Terminator kind of had that, right? It was a Dennis something film. Dennis started uh, with a V. So fucking hard, you can't tell what it's. Film the wave. Film the Could have been anything. He could have just been a. He could have been the caterer. Directed you can't tell. by. It, it clearly says directed yeah. by. Yeah, once you fucking strain, Eric, how easy it is to see directed by at the top there. I can see it. You, I mean, yeah, I can see it. I mean, now they said it, and they right. said it before. Sure. What's the I next guy's it? job? I mean, director's gonna be the. What's first that job? Credit. What's that job? Screenplay. But yeah. you gotta like look, right? I think As I glasses. do all the times I read. <laughs> sure, I know. I'm just saying, it's fucking. It's barely. We're gonna an test S. my psychic ability, Aaron. It's just, no, it's just I, terrible. I hate yeah, it. It's well, yeah. There was a couple of times. I wish it was bigger. The titles that was small. It's just the style. The location ones were small too, and I was sure. like, damn it. Where are we at? Yeah. Well, we meant to see this on a big screen, Aaron. Well, I guess. We True. <laughs> and it's, <laughs> and it's widescreen. We need a bigger so screen. It's going to make it. It's going to hit the fan. <laughs> Take down the fan. <laughs> Take that one down. It's better. <sighs> uh, nothing changed. Uh, we never got that fan. We got a wider shot without having the fan in it. So, mm -hmm. I mean, as a, uh, you know, a longtime Blade Runner fan, Rick and Calvin, how did you guys feel about the, the movie? Like, I only recently watched the Blade Runner sure. last year, you know? Yeah. So I haven't really had time to be like, what would be the next part? Or what would be a follow-up or something, you know? Or does should I have one? Or mm -hmm. Is uh, Deckard a replicant? Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, it's it's super well made. I thought they would go into that, and they didn't. Uh, they did. Deckard being a replicant? Mm -hmm. When did they go into Deckard being a replicant? With uh, did Wallace. Did I miss that? He was like, what if you were just designed... To, to meet her and create this. Yeah, yeah to, to meet Rachel. I took that as he was a replicant. Oh, I also took it as him talking about God and God's design, and it could also just be like they brought you in on this mesh mission to do this. Like she was made for you. I mean, he could have also been made for the the thing, but she could have been made for him to fall in love. I, and I don't think Wallace would reference God like that because Wallace. I'm God. But he did reference God. In reference to himself. Sure, but you can have a design without it being like a robot being made, right? Like a plan can be a design. It doesn't necessarily have to be that he's a replicant as well. Because I thought like they would actually go into it and like, is it a replicant with a replicant or is it a human with a replicant? I, mean, I certainly got the impression it was a replicant with a replicant, but but not until the end. I mean, that's what, certainly what. Freya and all of her people believed, right? Because if they could reproduce, they could they are life, and they're no longer artificial and not know? tied to humans. Yeah, yeah they're, they're not work. dependent on humans for reproduction. So that's certainly the impression I got. Although I don't know that it's outright stated. I, I wouldn't mean, expect it to. I, I think it's similar to the first film, where the question of Deckard being a replicant isn't outright said. Sure. sure. The but whole time you're like, is he a replicant or is he not? It could be either and still work. Yeah. I mean, I like the, the question posed here where it's like, okay, there's a child. Well, fucking, it's going to be Ryan Gosling then. Why not? You know? And then it's not. And then he has the memories of a real person. You know? Yeah. I think that was pretty cool. 
Well, yeah, I like how, like, I like how the the story, like you you brought it up in the reaction, how the first film is about a human or a replicant being human, and this one is or sorry backwards. Yeah. Fuck. It's about doubt. Doubting yes. yourself. It's, it's about doubting what is presented to yeah. you. Am I and human or am I a replicant? Questioning humanity as behavior or form. Yeah. Sure. And what makes someone human. Yeah. And I, I really like what um, Deckard said to, to Kay or Joe. He's like, is, is that dog real? Like, I don't know. How about you ask it? Yeah. When that <laughs> happened, you ask him. It, I was like, that's the whole first movie. <laughs> it, it is. Because, like, oh. that's... Is that what he was asking? If the dog was real? Yeah. yeah. I thought he was asking if the whiskey was real. No. Oh. And he's like, ask him because he's drinking it. No, no. <laughs> yeah. no. no. Like, oh. Ask him. It's a man made of whiskey. <laughs> <sighs> but that, you know, that's how you, the Turing test in a computer is like, if, if you can't tell whether it's a computer, is it artificial intelligence? Mm-hmm. It's, I think it's the same kind of thing. Like, if you ask a artificial being if it's real or not, and it believes itself to be real, is it real? How sure. do you how do you feel about that? I mean, he certainly Joe was quite upset or sad that he lost his love, you know, uh, Joy, and then to see like Joy's advertisement later and to use the word like Joe there, that's kind of kind of just Joe. like he's just kind of like. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like none of it like was that real. Meant a lot to me, and maybe it shouldn't, but did it. You know, he has all these things in his head. Sure, it's like what Wallace was saying to to Deckard. You know, you've endured a lot of pain, but I know your secret. You like pain mm-hmm. because that means that everything that you've experienced is real. Yeah. So the the pain that Kay was feeling, and the realization that Joy was not, you know, that kind of line things up in his head what was important you know dying for a good cause <laughs> did they go over at all why uh, Kay had the memories from Anna because she put some of her own memories in the replicants too yeah that is illegal though right it yeah, is. She, yeah I think she's aware of it though but she did do that yeah. I think so yeah I think like, so she's like okay. so she's they, didn't, they didn't go over why the memory was there though right I mean th- that's just your you're assuming that then right she Blade intentionally Runner, so much, put so her memories. Well, yeah, as I'm saying, I'm, 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 I was just wondering, like, did I miss something as to why that memory was in Ryan Gosling's mm-hmm. character? Uh, like, they didn't say like, there was what the reasoning. A, a bunch of those replicants when Ryan first got back and he was talking to Freya, or Freya was talking to him, or whatever. Freya, a bunch of them had. Was it Freya? Freya. 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 R e y s a. Was she? From, she wasn't from before or anything, right? She's new for this movie. Yeah, I didn't. I don't remember her from anything. I just wonder if there's more connections. Just like movie. Batista's character was new for this movie. Sure. Um, but she was saying to him, saying to him, like all of us wish that we were the one. You yeah. know, sure. we wish that the memories that we have were the the original, and everyone else's was a copy. That's why we fight. So uh, the girl putting her memories in the replicants, like she understands that made up memories, they're not deep. They don't have like that that complicatedness to them. So when she was putting real memories in there, she was giving them something good, something more complex, something better than just the fake, you know, two-dimensional stuff. That's what happened to her mom, too, where Tyrell put memories of his niece in her. Yeah, sure. It made them more controllable. It gave them a more human response. That's why when Deckard was originally giving Rachel the test, normally the test determines whether they're a replicant or not in like half a dozen questions but for her it took like over a hundred yeah it was over a hundred or yeah, something like that remember that i did not expect to see decker uh, i didn't figure he would be in it yeah oh really yeah yeah you never the only thing it. i know you never saw the trailer nope <laughs> <laughs> i didn't expect to see uh this girl rachel rachel I think it would have been nice if they wouldn't have had that in the trailer, but I'm sure that's a selling point. Yeah. For it, you know. But yeah, I knew. The only thing I knew about this was Ryan Gosling and Harrison Ford were both in it. Mm. That's all I knew. Didn't ha- didn't touch on the game at all. I was wondering if the game would be canon because the game takes place during the same time that the first movie does. 
and it could easily be in <laughs> canon with that movie. But I didn't notice anything in this that deals with any of those characters or events or anything. Maybe the shorts that take place between the two films that were done by the, I believe it was the game studio that animated them, hmm. might deal with some of those characters. That could be. Yeah, there's three of them that take place in various years. Mm-hmm. Like 2020 is one of them. So it would have been the year directly after the first movie. Because sure. the first movie, I mentioned well, it, Aaron. It, it easily could have just been like a month later. If it, was, it was in November. The first movie took place in November. That 20, 2020 could have been in January. Mm-hmm. You know? It, could, it might not have been that far off at all. Yeah. Or it might cover the, you know, the birth and the separation of the first few characters and stuff. The characters that we met here. I do like the plan to hide the daughter, like, during the blackout, they're able to switch stuff around, and you hide her by having her employed by the person looking for her. Yeah. yeah. Plain sight, yeah. and just keep her away from everyone so that, you know, the DNA can't be... Yeah. Sure. You, can, you can't even go inside her room to get it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. And yeah, you give so her... She probably, I mean, being a replicant, <laughs> there's no real bubble issue, most likely, I imagine, yeah. right? It's all a story made up to keep her... Kind well, of in a way, and, I, and away from people. When we, in our first scene, I was like, "Well, replicants probably don't get diseases." I would assume, but, but they could like, still carry microbes. Yeah, you're right. I was thinking, like, "Well, could you just like put some replicants in there with her so she doesn't get lonely?" You know, but yeah, you're right. I mean, if I mean, newspaper is sterile when you first manufacture it. Yeah. So if you manufactured a replicant put it in there yeah that's what I mean like probably be fine like you have a sealed package put it in there and everybody leaves too that way she's just not alone shake one of those big plastic bags with a replicant out in there and and she's got a replicant yeah hmm it was interesting that like the good side and the bad side both wanted the same thing they Mm -hmm. both wanted replicants to be able to reproduce yeah one for you know to make a slave labor force and the other to prove that they're more than they thought they were and to have a they're more than machines sure to inspire uh, inspire a revolution like yeah. Wallace's idea was that he can't make them fast enough but if they could birth themselves he could make them yeah. faster I guess yeah it would be an exponential growth rather you, than a linear growth I guess I guess that does make sense too I suppose like alright well I make these ten but then those ten can make some while I make the next ten yeah, yeah. So I guess yeah. that makes sense yeah that's why he was complaining. Like, I was just thinking, like, how long does it take to make these on the on the the, the, the assembly line? The assembly line, yeah. yeah. Like when you're making them up. Like, like does it made, take you ten months? So <laughs> nine months it won't be that bad, or what? He's made millions, and they've they've claimed nine worlds. But he's saying, like, yeah, nine. That's not enough. Yeah, like, you can count that high. On, a kid can count that high on their fingers. Yeah, I just wonder, like, the process because I'm like, by the time you get to someone that can actually do something, like, you got to wait, like, almost twenty years, you know. Like you, you gotta let them grow. I mean, I, I guess maybe you don't care how, like, they, you start them at fourteen or something. I don't know, but yeah, I don't know. But I was just like, it can't take that long to make these, right? But maybe it does. I don't know. I don't really dive into that segment of it. I don't know. Well, and you know, you can make, you can have them, and you don't have to build new factories on the worlds that are out there. They just make more of themselves. Mm-hmm. Sure. So you don't have to send them. You don't have to transport them. Sure, like that. that might be part of it too. Is like t- traveling to other planets, which they didn't deal with. I don't think in the first one. I don't remember any of that kind of talk before. Uh, I mean, they, they, they had about advertisements space. about going off world yeah. to like Luna and stuff like that. Sure. And there was like mining facilities on asteroids and stuff like that, uh, but they weren't livable for humans at all. That's why they needed replicants. So it might cut out like. I mean, if they have nine planets, I don't know how far they are, but travel might be an issue, so maybe birthing is the better option. Yeah, if you send ten <coughs> diverse, you know, genetically diverse replicants on a ship, and by the time they get there, they're, you know, 10,000, something like that, because they've just been reproducing and whatever. And maybe, Save yeah. a whole lot of money. I suppose. I don't know how that works. Mm. It's interesting that they have it where, like, Tyrell was the one who figured it out. Like that yeah. was the way he was saying. It's like he yeah. figured it out. And the secret's dying with him because they don't have any more. I wonder if the only one he ever had was Rachel, because Rachel was the one he did more. He that's he did the memory stuff with, mm-hmm. so it's more like an experimental model that he had. Yeah. Like I wonder if any of the other ones had it, because 
the way it talked, it didn't sound like it, maybe, but no, we have one was, instance of it occurring. She was a prototype, and she was the last one that he would have made because he died shortly after. It would be interesting because, like, all the replicants now, I doubt they could be modified to have children. So, like, they're doing this to build a future for other replicants other mm -hmm. than other than other themselves. themselves sure yeah it's looking forward to the new generation the it's not their not themselves yeah. yeah and that's why they're fighting they, they recognize it as the the greater good you know not something that directly benefits me but something that will benefit everyone later on and then, and then they come up and they're on their own and they start war and they have war between humans and replicants and that's why you don't make it don't start it you do this <laughs> war all humans die well, I mean, that's what the captain was trying to avoid. And it could also be a thing where maybe there's enough worlds for them both to exist. Sure. You think. Just go then, to another world. Then you watch Expanse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't want to start a war against the replicants. They seem pretty tough. No. I was curious on what all Wallace had on the his little chips. Because she like opened up a thing and it looked like there were like eight of them in there. Mm -hmm. and they took one and then like those little things floated around. But I'm like, well, what are all those other ones? But they never. One's probably never did it. You know? Plugs it in and then like this remote control dick starts flying around. Yeah, that's by it. Why would he need a remote control dick? He has. I'm sure he has a dick. So he can <laughs> watch himself. I thought his eyes was like a tech thing at first until it went a little further. I'm like, okay, he's he's blind. Yeah. But I thought it was like some kind of weird tech thing yeah. that he did and his yeah. eyes are upgraded or something yeah. like that i was just looking for the name of the cinematographer and while i was on imdb the first thing of trivia is that jared leto apparently uh like put like contact lenses in that make him blind yeah so that he he just literally can't see in the scenes really yeah i was wondering if they were real or like digital because sure. like uh x-men the x-men movies mm -hmm. they had uh what was it uh ramon stamos uh, what was her first name? Rebecca. Like, Rebecca. Like, she played Mystique, and they had ones for her and Storm, and I think someone else. And, like, some of them, like, they could only wear them for, like, an hour or something like that, or they'd start causing, like, one of them, I think Sabretooth. They're fucking this big, had, dude. Like, they had to go over half your eyeball. I think yeah, Sabretooth had to, like, like, had to, like, take, back the... like, time off because he had, like, yeah. blindness for a little bit, like, yeah. because of wearing them. And then uh, Halle Berry put them on once and said that she wasn't going to do it, and they'd yeah. have to do it CGI. Yeah, and she, she she refused to do it. But yeah, you ever see the video of, of Michael like... Jackson getting in the contact lens for the Thriller video when he's like the werewolf? No, oh. mm -hmm. it's fucking like they lift his eye lit up and they're just fucking jamming in there. Oh. He's like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> and it's it's like it's like this fucking big, and you can see out a hole that big, you yeah. know? Ugh. Yeah. So yeah, but anyway, yeah, I was wondering if he actually was wearing them yeah. or what it was because sometimes they just digitally change it, you know? Yeah. yeah. But, I mean, I, Roger Dakins, I guess, was the cinematographer, won an Oscar for this movie. And you can tell why. I mean, it's... Oh, yeah. Like, a couple of scenes, I'm just like, Jesus, this is great. Like, yeah. the Decker and Joe fight in the Elvis area. Mm -hmm. and I just love the sound design and the way that, that was being done. Mm -hmm. I really like the the uh, beach fight, too. Mm. I really yeah. just like some of the random shots they do. Like, I love when he cut away to, like, there's, like, the waterfall thing, but, like, on a wall and just water kind of falling off. And yeah. I like... It was just like random establishing shots, and the first one did it too, where it's like they just kind of show something. Mm -hmm. and it's not Cityscape. necessarily even related to what's going on. It's just, yeah, it's just we're going to show this kind of cool shot yeah. and move on to this. And I just like those a lot. Yeah, I like the desert he was in with like the naked girl statues. Mm -hmm. Like the very first time he got out of the car there, I really liked the silhouette of him. And there was a lot of silhouettes in this. Mm -hmm. There was. Where did he go to like, was that like Vegas? I think it was Vegas. That's my that was my thought. Cause I'm like, well, they were in L.A. Vegas wouldn't be too far. Yeah, it's deserty. Isn't Vegas and where he was? They were like escaping or leaving to. I think that's where the the first yeah movie. where they were gonna go. I don't remember. I can't remember. I have no idea. There might have been words, but who who could have read them? <laughs> what is? But I did like the shot. Yeah, like him walking through the yeah. orange desert, and it's like just. Him, like you were saying, like silhouetted kind of, right? Walking through there. It was really cool. That's Southern California, and then it goes over. I think it's probably Vegas. To Nevada. Yeah. Yeah. Strip. Does it say, mm -hmm. did you, did it say Nevada? It says Las Where Vegas you, right It's there. just yeah. the way it moved. Does it say it literally yeah. says Las Vegas. Oh, yeah, over on the left, I yep. see that there now. I, mean, I can see that better than I can see. Yeah, <laughs> screenplay. Yeah, right? 
Yeah, I wasn't looking over there though because I was looking yeah, up here at Detective KD Six. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So she's tracking him by his car. So that's one thing too. Is like when we were talking through about it, it was like, oh yeah, they did this and this, but it was. Yeah, yeah I thought that was Robin Wright that did the hookers thing. It was the it the Presa girl talked Prisa. to the hookers, mm-hmm. and then they put a little chip in there so they could track him because yeah. the cops could already track him, I guess, because he's a replicant maybe or because of his car with his drone or his gun. I don't know. Did he, did he get a new car? Uh, I don't think so. No? No. Well, he said, like, drone watched the car, so I think the car was still yeah, it was, uh, maybe it was still. It was still his car. The crash he, was pretty rough shape. I don't know. He surrendered his gun and his badge when he left the station the last time. Sure. I'm, I'm not against him having his car. I just thought that it crashed and was in really bad shape. <laughs> and they cut it open on the door. But then he was still driving it until the drone, like... Yeah, I mean... Shoot some shit. <laughs> he got struck by lightning. He... he Turn it off and turn it back on again. I guess. Which I did like yeah. that lightning tight yeah, thing. That was cool. It was really well, that cool. That was a hell of a shot to shoot that car driving, flying through the air with a harpoon. In that storm with the wind. <laughs> yeah, this is just crazy. A hell of a shot. That I was mean, cool. It is a replicant though, right? So it's superhuman. Was it? Uh, that was a human. That was a human? All the ones on the outside, the scrappers and stuff, they were humans. Mm-hmm. And, they, and then they started just shooting everything. Hmm. The power of love. And they all just got gunned down. Light in the sky. Well, I mean, it's, I think it's a great movie. Uh, you can tell, I, at least I can tell, like it's not, it's not going to have great commercial success because you know, it's it long. Just, like you could, I think you could cut out a half hour of, you know, Joe walking, <laughs> yeah, a couple times. Oh yeah. You know, but you could also cut. I out. also appreciate the the, the 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 vision of the director, the producer, the cinematographer being able to just. I want to do what I want to do. It doesn't feel like there was anything in here where I was like, no, the studio made me put that in, you know? Yeah. No, I mean, I think it worked really well. Yeah. Like, it's a very hard thing to come back to a movie that that's, that is that old and that highly regarded. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And be able to mesh with it and do it justice, which I feel like it did. Yeah. Um, sure. It, like, built on the lore that it already had, and I don't feel like it really, like, stepped on or caused problems with the previous movie at all, either. Because sometimes you get that, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Where, like, they, they're building on the lore, and it causes more problems. You're like, well, then why'd they do this in the first movie? Just retcon sense, something. You know? Yeah. Yeah. But I don't feel like it did that. I feel like it worked pretty well. I thought it was interesting that you have, like, the one replicant at the end of the last movie dying in the rain. And mm-hmm. then this one, you have this replicant dying, like, in the snow. In the snow. Yeah. Yeah. Also, would just kind of, like, assume that, well, if anyone's going to die, it's going to be Decker. That way, Joe takes over as our main protagonist for future franchise movies, but that didn't happen. No. It wasn't yeah, like, with their, their the goal opposite. didn't seem to be like, let's make a franchise yeah. with this. It was like, yeah. let's yeah. tell this story that we want to do with Deckard. And There's just like, by the end of it, cynical part of me that like was expecting that, because that's what studio, studios do now. So they try to sure. revive old franchises, and that's what they do. Mm-hmm. All right, let's kill off the old hero so we can have the new guy. Sure. You kill off him, and then, in the snow. then he's like, take care of her, or something yeah. like that. And you're like, oh, damn, okay. And then it just ends, and he's like, well, what happens next? You're like, yeah. find out next time in the trilogy we have sure. planned. Yeah. I'm like, damn it. And <laughs> while I like that in certain things, like, you know, and Grant, I've only seen Blade Runner this year. I didn't feel like Blade Runner was that, that thing that needed that, you know? It's more of an art piece than, <coughs> like, the typical franchise. Yeah, you know? definitely. I mean, like the original, I thought it had a lot of, like, it delve into the ideas of the original, but it had some other ones as well. As sure. like, well, maybe AI are the new replicants. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, the whole relationship with Joy, like, eventually yeah. will they become a life form as well? Sure. I thought it was interesting that you have a replicant who's, like, in love with something fake. Yeah. Right? Like, faker than him. Whereas before, you had Deckard, who was, like, in love with something fake. Yeah. You, you know what I mean? And it's just, like... Yeah, but Tyrell Corp is more human than human. No, that's not how it works. That's not what I mean. <laughs> but that that joy was not human. No, but it was just. But Rachel was. But she wasn't, right? Like, I, like that, I mean, the whole idea is that the at surface level, it's toying with the idea of what makes something human and all yeah. that. But I also like the idea that your main protagonist in both shows is like in love with something that's not real. Mm-hmm. So. I just think that's interesting. Whether whether he's a replicant or not, on well, either case, it's like you still have him kind of dealing with that. Like a real person would probably have more difficulty, maybe, falling in love with joy, because there's like more 
more suspension of disbelief there. But maybe, maybe it's like scaled but, for him. Well, I'm I pretty sure people have married like roller coasters. Lamps. Uh, visual novel characters. Yeah, sure. Stuff like that. Like. Body powers. I just think that the. Uh, yeah, that's what those people have other. I think Common means the intelligent on. person. I think he needs. <laughs> a person is smart, yes. People are dumb. <laughs> I think the idea of like him treating this, you know, AI, essentially, like more human than he gets treated. Like you see him like walking through and people are like calling Skinner. him Skinner or whatever. Yeah. And, Skin job. Yeah, all that kind of stuff. Even the one guy that, that died, the Baba Yaga, like that dude. Coco. He like. Made the comment. And His he, neck was you know, gone. Sorry, way. no offense. No, oh, yeah. She kind of just she like, hit him hard. Yeah, turtled him. Is what it looked like. Hit but, him in the nape of the neck and mm-hmm. just like snapped it. But I feel like he was like, I think it was an idea of treating her more human than what he gets treated. You know? Yeah, yeah. Like he, I know this isn't real. This person, this. Thing. And the way she treated him was very interesting. Like I was fascinated by the sex scene that they had. Sure, and that was like she wanted to. It yeah. wasn't yeah. he did. It was she wanted to be real for him. But that's right? the thing, too. Like, that's what she's designed to do. Like, is it her? You know? Like, she has, like, you know, I'm going to call you Joe. It's like, why? She's like, eh. But we find out that's, that's just the thing that she says. Yeah. yeah. You know? But like, she's think- there to be for you. Anything you want. Anything you desire. He wanted that feeling, and maybe it's just a program responding to him, as yeah. opposed to, like, her soul, you know? Whatever you want to sure. hear, whatever you want to see. I think you could have part of that, but I also think there might be an element not like that when he's saying about needing to delete, and she's like, well, at least keep me here, and I'll be like a real person, like sure. alive with like one you know, one life kind yeah. of thing, you know? Like, if, if she was just programmed, that part might not matter, but it's going to matter to her. Unless there. that's what the program thinks that he wants. You know, I, I understand that, like, it could be either or, but that's what Blade Runner, I feel like, does the best, is it's either or, you know? Yeah, and, you know, are we not programmed at some level to please our mates as well? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And if it were just a, a simple thing as, you know, she's only programmed for these exact responses. Sure. Like, there would be no risk of her dying because you could just get another one. Sure. You know, download well, maybe the, it, the latest I, update I, or whatever. I, I definitely but agree, but like maybe a, it also... It's like a like summation of her experiences, too. too. No, yeah, it's, you it's, know? Like, yeah. it's like a learning Like, program. its individuality comes from what it thinks this individual desires. It's, it's like, like a Star Wars amoeba. droid. Mm, yeah. I mean, sure. And she's definitely, like, trying to please him at some level, because even the first time we see her, she brings out the dinner thing, talks to him, and then changes into, like, four different outfits, yeah. trying to find, like, what he's interested in at the time. What his know? mood is. Yeah, what does he want. I really liked her line too of like, if I take you out of this uh, computer and put you in this stick, like then this will be the only copy left of you. And like, if this is erased, then you're gone for good. And the, she said like, well, that makes me more human. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I wonder. I mean, I'm, sh- I'm sure there is, and you could look into it a few ways. But I wonder from writer or director or what a creator standpoint, reasoning of why they wanted her to be called Joy. And like the other one to be called love or anything. Like I wonder if there's reasons for that. Risa, you know. Sure. Just like you could have like, well, you know, he's trying to find joy, and that like this is his joy that he has, and then he loses his joy. You know, like is there some kind of way that they're playing with like those kind of things? Well, and like, emotions is, she... is something that's related to humanity. <coughs> sure. You know, and then like you know, love kills joy. You know, kind of like is that. Is that something meaningful that they're wanting to try to say from that action? Or sure. Any of that. So, especially since they're all AIs and replicants that are named that. Also, Joe is just Joy, but no I put it in. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Like, maybe that's the reason that maybe they have Joy and they have Joes. Maybe that's why she says you're a good Joe. But also, didn't they say Joe in the first one, too? Is that something they said? In the first, in the first movie? movie? Yeah. Was there something about Joe's in that? I'm trying to remember. I've only seen the one time. Don't believe so. Did okay. you ring a bell? Then maybe they have like this AI thing where it's like, you can get Joy, she'll do whatever you need. And then it's like, well, you can have Joe, and he can do whatever you need. That way there's like, here's the one for like, the, if you want a male companion or if you want a female companion, they have those. Maybe that's why she says Joe. But, don't know. I don't know, Joe. Because it's a follow-up, maybe it never could. 
but I don't see the visual design of this, and obviously it's influenced so much on the original, but I don't see it influencing the genre like the original did. Sure. Like, oh, yeah. Th there was a lot of good design, but none of it stood out to me like the original one. And I think part of that is because a lot of it's based on the original one. Yeah. So there yeah. isn't a lot of new stuff here. You would They're matching to... something, whereas the original was creating something. Yeah. You wouldn't want to deviate so much from the original to create a new piece of expression. Sure. Because then that, what's the point of, of trying to recreate the first thing? Just yeah. make something new. Just like make a new thing instead of making George a Lucas sequel. and the prequels. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I just really missed a Rutger Howard. You missed him? Yeah, I did. You had love. Yeah, like... I, love hurts. I thought um, Joy's performance was really good. Yeah. Um, but other than that, they weren't so memorable to me as... Um, like Rutger Howard's performance in the original. Yeah. I wish we had more of Batista. You think? I really enjoyed Batista in this. Mm. Yeah. Every time I see him wear glasses, they're always tiny. That's just such a big man. No. Glass. If he put your glasses no. on, they, they were little be tiny, tiny. They're little no, tiny no. circles. No, he's just a big man, Eric. He is a. If he held big a man. normal Kit Kat bar, it would look like a little Kit Kat. It's like bar. us trying to wear that Baratheon crown. We can't do it. You can do it. I can. We can't do it. Yeah. It's not the same. It just falls <laughs> over into the necklace for Callan. <laughs> they make size. 18 shoes for Shaq, but they can't make bigger glasses for Batista. <laughs> well, he has to just take what he can get from normal humans, right? He can't be asking normal for, humans. Asking for things yeah. made. If he goes to a, a, a custom -made. optometrist or something like that, and he's like, all right, better one, better four. Ah, oh, shit! <laughs> Kill it! Yeah, he can't do that. He's just got to take what he's got. Yeah, sure. He has little glasses. Little human glasses. <laughs> Oh man. Uh, yeah. The uh, you know the gla Galatian uh, disorder with the genetic disorder Galatians that they disorder. had. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was, one, I was trying to think of like, well, why? Why is that? Like, why that book? Like that book is Paul writing to the early church, talking about it's kind of like first major disagreement with each other, which is salvation by grace or salvation by works. You know, which I guess could be like if both of these camps wanted. The girl, one is salvation by grace and one is by work, i.e., like, I can free humanity by using this new slave labor to, you know, to build. Or I can, it can just be a matter of we are owed respect, you know, mm -hmm. by grace. So maybe that's what they're going for when it comes to the Galatian book. Maybe. I wonder if her name has any relevance either. What was Dr. her name? Dr. Anna, what was the last name? Uh, <laughs> Staline? Anna Staline. Staline? Staline. Yeah, was, no. I think it was Staline Industries or something like that was on the front of her mm. building. Okay. See, she also had a story, too, where, like, her parents were going off-world, but she couldn't go with them or something mm -hmm. like that. So I'm assuming they left her? Or they um, died? I don't know. She, well, she said, the mom died during childbirth. Well, her, her yes. real mom. But she said... <laughs> Me and my parents had tickets ready to go off world, and then I fell sick. Yeah. So, I'm so like, then they kept they they set me up and gave me everything that I would ever want in this little room. Yeah. So I'm assuming they left <laughs> and Fucking left her here. But they, who are they? They are fake parents. Yeah. I know, but real. like, were they in on it? Did they know who she really was? I don't know. I mean, they might not be. That's the story she had. I yeah. just wonder if it's even true, or if she. If I mean, were parents, if there weren't parents, if she was adopted. It could be they replicants. Put her in the, an orphanage, right? Yeah. Somebody put her in an orphanage uh, until she came here at the age of eight. So it could have been the replicants that, you know, were taking care of her after Rachel and been Deckard left. Brace it. Died or whatever. Could have been her. Could have been her. So it was interesting she had no eye. <laughs> well, that's the most obvious identifying sure. mark. You know, look up to the left. She takes that out. I was like, oh, yeah, accident. Uh, yeah. I feel, I'm, I'm I would, not a replicant. I would feel suspicious. If anyone <laughs> didn't like have if that everyone eye. didn't have that yeah. eye, right? It's like, hmm. Look at those eight people walk by with no right eye. That's weird. <laughs> it's like when you file off a serial number of a weapon. It's like, well, you can't track it. It's yeah, but you can't have this. <laughs> <laughs> 
<coughs> It'd be terrible if Blade Runners just went around shooting people with no right eye. Yeah. The fact that you don't have a right eye is a crime. Well, I wanted to watch it for a long time. I'm glad I got to. Enjoyed it. I'm glad you guys watched it and enjoyed it. Sure, yeah. It was interesting. I'm glad it still felt like the other Blade Runner movie, though. Mm-hmm. Like, I think it's good that it kept the same feeling. Because sometimes, especially, like, you had the producer, I guess, being from the old director with mm-hmm. Ridley Scott. But, like, having new directors taking over things, sometimes that's not what you get, you know? Sometimes you get, like, well, here's their vision. Like, you know, Terminator 3. Sure. Is one where, like... <laughs> The, it, it wasn't the original, and they just made the movie, and they're like, "All right, no one liked it." <laughs> <You> know, like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, and there wasn't as much of a gap between those two as there was this and Blade No, Runner. yeah. So I really wasn't sure if this was gonna like kind of. Yeah, the, it seems like the director here, like, took very seriously the idea that like there are hardcore fans of this movie, and its many versions. I have to. Like, he took a huge responsibility to try to make sure he got it right, and not just like a studio pleaser. You know? Yeah. You might wanna, have also been a fan himself. Like, yeah. having it feel like Blade Runner, having it not do, like, an injustice to, like, you know, Deckard or yeah. any characters from before. Like, I mean, like, they only really had... They had the Rachel, like, fake Rachel. Mm-hmm. Which I thought that was pretty good. Yeah. We also we saw that. footage from the last movie, which yeah. I didn't expect to see either. Sure, yeah. We you did. had some of that. You no, had it was audio. actually pretty ballsy to show Rachel and then show your CG version of Rachel, like, yeah. immediately. Yeah. And I thought it looked pretty good. Granted, I mean... You're still going to, because we know it's a CG character, sure. yeah, we're going to scrutinize it. But yeah. it always reminds me of like when people watch Rogue One and they see Tarkin. There are people like, oh, it looks like, terrible. I, like, there's no way anybody would ever believe this is a real person. And there's people that never seen Star Wars but watch Rogue One. And they're like, what are you talking about? Which guy? That guy's real? He's real. I, no, you know, he's not real. What? <laughs> you know? So there's that element of like what you know versus what you don't. Yeah. I mean, he looks much better than uh, Leia does. Yeah, I, I agree. Know. Sure. And they all so. look better than Luke and Mandalorian. Yeah, so I agree. So, yeah. But none of them look as good as... Never mind. I think if some people haven't seen the movie, so I'm not going to say it. Which good. Movie? Okay. Can't say it. You can't even say which Bible movie. goes west. Th- that's the one. That's what we're talking Damn about. Damn it, Eric. Now it's spoiled. Thank you guys for watching our reaction to Blade Runner 2049. This was not voted, but there are movie reactions that are voted over at patreon.com slash blindwave. You also could have watched along with this this entire uh, reaction, as long as you have your own footage, which we watched it on HBO Max. You yes. can check all that out at patreon.com slash blindwave.